Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to look into a new method that we can use to lock artifacts using MLflow. So, in the previous video we saw how we can lock a single file, like a text file, using the method lock artifact. In today's video we are going to look at a new method called lock artifacts. The difference between this method and the previous one is that in this case, instead of uh, providing uh, the path to the file, we have to provide the path to a directory or a folder. Um, meaning that this method is going to lock all the files under that folder. So let's look at the folder that I have created called run artifacts, in which we can see an image, confusion matrix, and the text file that we logged before. So this code um, is able to log more than one artifact at the same time. So let's run this code and think what happens. Python. Now let's go to the interface. Click on login artifacts. And here we can see that there is a folder which contains uh, the image confusion matrix and the hello world txt, txt. So we can log more than one artifact at the same time. Well, this is everything for this video. In the next one, we are going to look into other types of files that we can log using the MLflow API. Uh, specifically, we are going to look at or look into how to log images, um, but not files, but objects. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.